Hello students, I hope you all are fine. I am your teacher Kamal. Today we are going to learn chapter number 8, Parameter and Area. By the end of the lesson, you people will learn about regular and irregular shapes, definition of parameter and area, difference between parameter and area of a region, identify the units for measurement of perimeter and area, apply formula to find perimeter and area. Here I am going to tell you the difference between regular and irregular shapes. Types of shapes, regular shapes, the ones with proper shape like triangle, square, rectangle, etc. We apply formula for regular shapes, irregular shapes, the ones which do not have proper shape. For irregular shapes, we add all the sides. Let's start with perimeter. First of all, I will tell you the meaning of perimeter. Peri means boundary and meter means measurement. So the definition is perimeter is to measure the outer boundary of the shape. We name the sides as length and breadth. L stands for length. Length is the horizontal part of the shape and B stands for breadth. Breadth is the vertical part of the shape. Here I will tell you about unit. Unit of the perimeter is always in accordance with the same measurement given in the question. It can be meter, centimeter, etc. We use formula to find the perimeter of a rectangle because it is a regular shape. Perimeter of rectangle equals to 2 into L plus B. I am going to give you a tip which is the horizontal side of a shape is always considered as length. Remember, opposite sides of a rectangle are parallel and equal in length. Okay, student, open your books, page number 158. We will solve question number 5, part A. Find the perimeter of each rectangle. Length is given 4 cm, breadth is given 3 cm. Solution. First of all, I am going to draw a rectangle here. As I told you, length is the horizontal part of the shape. L is equal to 4 cm. Breadth is the vertical part of the shape. B is equal to 3 cm. And perimeter is the outer boundary of the shape. We will apply the formula to find the perimeter of a rectangle, which is perimeter of rectangle equals to 2 into length plus breadth. Now we will put the values. Perimeter of rectangle equals to 2 into 4 cm plus 3 cm. As you know that we always solve the bracket first. So we will add 4 plus 3, 7 cm. Now we will multiply 2 into 7 is equal to 14 cm. That is our answer. Now you have to solve the rest of the parts yourself. Now I will solve question number 4. If each of these shapes is made up of 10 squares, then calculate the perimeter of each shape, which has the greatest and which has the smallest perimeter. Here are two irregular and a regular shape given. I am going to solve the irregular shape first. As you know that we add all sides to find the perimeter of irregular shape. Here I put arrows which will help us to find the measurement of each side. In this grid, we will count the boxes to get the measurement of each side. A is equal to 1 cm, B is equal to 6 cm, C is equal to 2 cm, D is equal to 4 cm, E is equal to 1 cm, F is equal to 2 cm. Solution. First of all, we will write the formula. Perimeter of irregular shape equals to A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F. Now we will put the values. Perimeter of irregular shape equals to 1 cm plus 6 cm plus 2 cm plus 4 cm plus 1 cm plus 2 cm. Now we will add all the values. Perimeter of irregular shape equals to 16 cm. 
Now you have to solve rest of the parts yourself. Now I will tell you about area. What is an area? The amount of surface covered by any shape or the inner or colored part of a shape is called its area. We use length and breadth to measure the shapes. Length is denoted by L and breadth is denoted by B. As I told you that length is the horizontal part of the shape and breadth is the vertical part of the shape. Here I am going to tell you the unit of area. Unit of area is always measured in squares in accordance with the measurements given in the question. For example, it can be meter square, centimeter square, etc. To find the area of a rectangle, we use formula which is area of rectangle equals to length multiplied by breadth square unit. Open page number 167. We will solve question number 10 part A. Use the formula to work out the areas of the following rectangles. L is given 10 cm, B is given 7 cm. Solution. First of all, I am going to draw a rectangle here. As I told you, length is the horizontal part of the shape. L is equal to 10 cm. Breadth is the vertical part of the shape. B is equal to 7 cm. And area is the colored and inner part of the shape. We will apply the formula to find the area of a rectangle, which is area of a rectangle equals to L into B. We will put the values now. Area of rectangle equals to 10 cm into 7 cm. Area of rectangle is equal to 70 cm square. Now you have to solve rest of the parts yourself. Dear students, as you know that I have solved part A of question 4, 5 and 10. Now you have to solve rest of the parts yourself. Answer key will be provided in the second video from where you can match your solution. I hope you have understood the concept well.